Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November the 10th, and I am starting my work day a little bit earlier than usual. It is 7.47, and I usually do not start work before 9 o'clock. That's just my thing, but I have training today from 8 to 12, and then I took off the rest of the day, so I'm only working half a day. And I stopped by and McDonald's and picked me up some coffee since I've run out of coffee at my house. And one second, I'm trying to fix my coffee before I start my training. True story, I went to McDonald's and I ordered me a medium coffee. And I said, can you put my coffee in a large cup even though I'm only getting a medium, I'll pay for a medium or whatever. Or I'll pay for a large but I only want it filled up and leave like this much space at the top because I'm going to put my own creamer and uh, sugar in my coffee when I get home and that lady she looked at me like I was crazy she said so what you're telling me is you want your medium coffee in a large cup you want us to put creamer and sugar in it for you so you don't have to do that I'm like no I don't like the way you creamer and I don't know if you use fat free sugar or whatever but it just don't taste right so I will use my own creamer and sugar I just need a medium coffee in a large cup or a large coffee with this much space at the top I don't know uh, what's wrong with people but like, I don't think that's a weird request I can kind of understand that hey I don't want your cream or coffee can you leave me like an inch at the top of my cup so I can go home and add my own please and thank you I'll pay you for the large cup if you want me to but I just want my own creamer and my own sugar but enough of that okay so last night while i'm watching youtube i discovered that boris i never know how to say his last name so i'm not going to and his wife nicole has a talk show where the hell have i been like seriously i knew that ice and coco had a talk show by the way love it. but i did not know that boris and nicole had a show so i watched about two or three episodes and when i said i was in stitches the entire time like where have I been? I don't know if it's picked up or if there's another season, but there's like 30 full episodes on YouTube. So I'm going to watch all of them over the next couple of weeks. But I did not know they had their own show. Like, number one, when I found out that they got together, I'm so upset because, you know, Boris is off the market. But they are the cutest couple and they have the cutest family, you know, as what we see. Because, you know, behind scenes, it could be like a totally different story, but I don't think so. So, oh, God it's killing me all right so yeah i discovered that they have a a talk show and i had a little they're so cute together like empire goal for me i am going to have a talk show with my spouse and i don't care if it's solely based on youtube i don't care if it's podcasts like i am going to have a talk show because I feel like if you build something together, oh God, I'm going to have to hold my arm up. <laughs> I feel like if you build something together with the person that you're with, it's like setting the ground for making a mini empire and you're showing your kids and you're leaving your kids legacy. And plus doing anything with another person, it's always easier when there's two. So yeah, that's my rambling for the morning. I'm about to go ahead and log into my job site because... I need to start this four hour training and then I'm going to Target today because I haven't been to Target in weeks so there's no telling what they have on the sales rack plus it's Christmas and I need to start buying Christmas decorations and stuff for my house because you know what I just cannot do this <laughs> I'm gonna prop y'all guys up god I really need to go to the gym or something this is ridiculous like my phone shouldn't even weigh a pound there is no reason I can't hold my arm up like this without it feel like it's about to fall off like am i really that out of shape like no upper body strength at all too cute i think i found journey's thanksgiving outfit oh my goodness i don't know which one i want look at them they're just too adorable but i like the pants on this one decisions decisions why I don't come to Target. Look at this ridiculousness. 
I found the cutest straws in the Dollar Owl for my Christmas party. And then to motivate me while I'm working, don't wish for it, work for it. Yep. And then this chalkboard so I can put in the middle of my table and count down to Christmas. And I make sure I got wooden so I can use it for other holidays. They sell Jamaican black castor oil on Target. And they've got the one with the lavender in it. Oh my goodness. Yep. It looks like I don't have to order these off the internet anymore. I didn't get as much as I thought I was going to get at Target. I walked out of there and everything fit in one bag. I did put back some of the stuff that I got and then I added some stuff to it. So I guess I will show a mini shopping haul when I get back to the house. So yeah. Kind of surprised at myself. I thought I was going to spend more than what I did. But um, when I got to the register, I scaled back. And I was like, okay, I really don't need all this stuff. So I scaled back. And I did get another cutting board. And I probably shouldn't have, but it was on sale for $3 and some change. And you just can't beat it because I don't like cutting up my vegetables and my meat on the same cutting board. So I found a really good one. So I'll show that when I get home. And I got a a couple more of um, signs for my inspirational quote wall so yeah I'm about to go pick the kids up and get them settled for the night <laughs> shopping haul because I went to a couple of different stores and I got some really really good deals so I'm going to share them really quickly <laughs> okay first off I went to Walmart I know I know I go like every day but uh these placemats originally ugh, originally $1.96 I got them for 49 cents each so I got two four six of them so that's going to be my place setting for Thanksgiving. Now these, these are what I'm really excited about. I've been eyeballing these for like two years. They're originally like $4. Well, they're discontinuing them. So I got this entire pack right here for 89 cents. And these are ramekins, so you can bake in these. So I was, you know, I love to entertain. So I'm thinking that I'm going to make like desserts, mini quiches, macaroni and cheeses, or macaroni and cheese in there so yeah I got eight of those because for 89 cents you can't beat them and they came they had foxes and um some leaves and stuff you saw these earlier these are the the straws that I picked up for the Christmas party I'm throwing this year I'm doing ugly sweater theme and then I went and because the box were open on these I got this entire set and there's four glass bowls for $3.50. And you can bake in these up to 350 degrees. So yeah, I needed some new Tupperware and then I like glass because plastic stains. So, and then I don't like to use the same cutting boards for my meat and my vegetables. So I picked up two more cutting boards today. I'm gonna use the plastic one for my meat. That was three bucks. And then I picked this one up from Target. See that? $3.88. And I like this one because it has a grip on it. So it has those grippers. And then I got uh, these from Children's Place. They had an additional 75% off of their clearance. So I got those for Journey. I got these for Nay. These were really cute. And then I picked these up at Target. Originally, I was just going to get this one. And then when she rang it up and it said a dollar... I ran back and got the other one. So this one's going to go on my desk. And it says don't wish for it, work for it. Because that's the model that I want to live by. And then these are going to go on my inspirational quote wall. I have in my bathroom. And this one says be your own kind of beautiful. And think outside the box. We saw this mini chalkboard that I got. I'm going to use this starting in December. 
on the table as a countdown to Christmas. And I picked up two more e.l.f. brushes because you can't beat them for a dollar. So this is the eyeliner brush. I saw a tutorial that I'm going to try. You would think after my spider up tutorial that I did on my face for Halloween, I would stop trying YouTube tutorials. I'm just not a professional, but I'm going to do it again anyways. And then I need this for my eyebrows when I arch them. And then I picked up a few pieces. I got these from uh, Walmart. And I know Halloween is over, but you can't beat a 38 cent shirt. Jordan can wear these to bed. So I got that for 48 cents. Super cute. Um, Nay's a fan of Inside Out. So that's way too big for her, but I figured she could sleep in it for a dollar. You can't beat it. And then I picked this up for Nay. A dollar. And since it's not too cold, she can still wear these. And I found another 48 cent shirt for Journey. She can wear them on the house. She can wear them out. She can sleep them. Can't beat it. And then this one I got for me. Five dollars. We have a store down here called Martin's. And I don't know. I just love Southwestern stuff. And as soon as I saw that it had wolves on it and then the bull head, I said I can definitely wear this. Because it comes down almost to my knees. With some skinny jeans, get me a pair of brown boots and a sweater. Children's Play is an amazing deal once again for Nay. Got those pants for $2. Super cute. And then I picked this up. I think that was like $1.99. And this is really cute. She can wear these with a pair of leggings. Okay, so I'm a savvy shopper. And I like to dress my kids nicely. And with six kids, a lot of people think that their clothing budget is expensive and it, it really isn't. I spend a fraction of the cost on what some people spend on two kids. I can shop for all six of my kids. I like to shop with deals and coupons. I'm a thrift store shopper. I love shopping at yard sales. But 75% of my kids' clothes come from the sales rack. And I shop off season two. So like right now I'm shopping on summer clothes because they're discounted, like really discounted. Just had an entire sales rack at Children's Place with items that were $4.99 with an extra 75% off. Walmart had an entire dollar rack. I know, I don't know. I just have to do an entire video on how I save money when it comes to shopping for my kids because a lot of people will say, I don't see how you do that. You can't dress a family or a family when you have six kids nicely for a budget. Honey, I'm here to tell you I've been doing it for 14 years. Yes, you can. I never pay full price for anything. If it's not on sale, they're not getting it. Now, with the oldest boys, the only thing that I may get full price for them is shoes. But even then, I'm a member of Hibbit. So, they send me coupons for like $10 off of 50 $15 off of 50 That's when I go get tennis shoes. I stock up. But, yeah, that was my Tuesday. My Tuesday was really simple. What I'm about to do right now is pop this bad boy in the oven I got a pizza from Walmart and I like it because well I like the Walmart pizza because they include the five dollar voodoo credit towards uh, a movie and since I got a voodoo subscription I use the little credits that come in the pizza and I run this movie on Friday when we have family night and we get to enjoy a movie for free basically because we paid six ninety eight for the pizza free five dollar voodoo credit just like this weekend or this last Friday, I rented Inside Out, and it was a three-day rental. I had three five-dollar Voodoo credits that I redeemed to pay six dollars for the movie. So I have some credit left over, and we got to enjoy the movie for three days. So you can have fun on a budget. You can enjoy your kids on a budget. <laughs> like having a big family is not as expensive as everybody thinks. So, but that's my night. I had a really good Tuesday. I have training today at work, so I'm going to pop that pizza in the oven and I'm going to catch up on some of my work for work because I have some training modules that I have to do before a cutoff date and then I have some documents that I need to read and catch up on. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening and watch some TV. So Pizza is done. Yeah, that looks good. Little Caesar, who? Nope. Baked in my kitchen. Oh, kizzy, kizzy. Let me see your inside out shirt, Nay. Um, Who's that on your shirt? Me. 
That's not on you. Who? I said, who's on your shirt? Um, sadness and happiness. Let me see. I yeah. Darnie, stop attacking her. I'm not a fish. Let me see your shirt, Nay. Nani, Nani, let me see your shirt. Which one's sadness? Uh oh. Which one's happiness? Did you like the movie? Yes. Ooh, attitude -y. Up, oh, baby, careful. Follow, follow, save me. I can't save you. She's baby Godzilla. No, 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 no. Hot, this is Uh-oh.